Hey, welcome back. So, last episode, leave, uh, the jerk was killed. He was disarmed, and then he was killed, and, uh, Sandman ate some of him and walked away. I'm playing as, I remember, if I remember correctly, Samuel, Sam, and, uh, Sandman killed my wife, and now I want to kill him. And, if I remember correctly, he was stabbed by an agent named after a mortal Greek god. So I got a feeling it's not going to be easy killing Sandman. But, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, sweet. Military order. Subject. Commands for Di Daedalus team. Area. Keen Sight. Sacred Heart Hospital. Orders. Go to the facility and place it under quarantine for super supervisors who will be arriving later. Mark the areas that pose a potential biohazard with special traps and eliminate any threats. All infected corpses must be disposed by incinerating them. As soon as the area has been decontaminated and it's secure, a team of Hades operatives will be sent out to recover sensitive data and the level 4 personnel. Awaiting confirmation that decontamination has been completed. I don't think they've ever finished. Let me just... Oh, I can't equip my gun. Oh, okay. Alright, let's say hi to leave. Huh. Yeah, he got disarmed pretty good. Ooh, give me the pistol. Really? You're gonna put the armband on? You have no idea what that does to you. Wait, does that mean... Oh! Now my ID is unknown. Where's my assault rifle? God damn it, give me my assault rifle! Oh, I hate you, Leave. I hate you even more. You died with an assault rifle that had ammo. Oh. Oh well. I hate the... Oh wait. Yeah, let's not... Oh, he also had my healing stuff. Oh, leave. You took everything with you. You even have all my ammo. What did I save it for? Alright, we'll do pistol first, shotgun for emergencies. Light is on. Alright, hospital. This should be fun. I have no idea how long this game is, but man, it goes. I'm not saying it feels long, it just keeps going. Usually in other zombies. Oh, well, hi. I know my wife just died, but I'm not interested. But yeah, usually in other zombie games, the hospital is basically endgame. Also, I don't like how this looks. I mean, that's evidence. Someone didn't hang up the phone. Oh yeah, it's dark. I should open this. Oh, can't. Here walking. So let's go this way. Is this the part when the liquors come into play? Nope. Sorry, ma'am. You can lick that bullet, though. At least that door shut. Hello, sir. Or ma'am. Or sir. I have no idea. You're dead. Keenside Sacred Hospital personal ID card. Name, Strott. Surname, Paxton. Occupation, attendant. Security level, 6. There is a personal code marked on the back of the number. 667. 667. No idea what that's going to be for, but... At least it's an easy enough number to remember.
I don't have a key. That is not operational. No ammo. Disappointed. Also, that's a pretty decent flashlight. Can I have that one? Alright, six, six, seven. Oh, I can't see you. Now I see you. It's really hard to see them from far away. I notice the soundtrack in this game is not overwhelming, but it's there when it wants to be. It's not bad. It does what it needs to. Also, the second game came out, I think, not too long ago. Oh, you're definitely coming alive. Don't know how that one is. I'll have to look at the reviews. Alright, there's nothing over here for me except a bunch of maybe enemies that'll come up sooner or later. No. Okay. I'm going downstairs then with my 667. You know, music, I talked about you. Don't get creepy now with that. No. I think he's mutating. I'm gonna just, yeah, just let you be. I think he's like the Henry Birkin in this game. Sounds like he's transforming in the distance. He ate leave after ripping his arm off and now I just hear a rampaging monster. And also, everything tends to die in one headshot. One headshot. One headshot. God. You had to be the one. You just had to be the one. Alright, right now if I meet Sandman, I am doomed. Because I have absolutely nothing. Except, what, seven handgun bullets and, uh... Uh, not much shotgun, but the shotgun, I guess, will be useful. Oh, thank god we have tissues. Oh, scaly. Mm, good brand. Come on, give me some ammo or health. Probably want ammo more, but I'm doing... Well, I'll take you. Oh, that's useless, because I have nothing to cure it with. You gave me the addictive cure. That is useless for me at the moment. Oh, Discord pinged. Probably just notification. Hey, you wanna die in one shot? You wanna die in one shot? You really wanna die in one shot. Hey, buddy, just die. Let me make sure it's just a notification. Yeah, it was. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Oh, another one. Usually, I like 100% complete games. Mm, this one will probably have to do a new game plus on if it has that mode. I have no idea where this game's gonna go. We all I thought Lee was gonna be the main character the entire time, but be a big giant jerk about it. No, nah, he's dead. And I don't think Samuel is gonna last long, honestly. Since I'm going to a guy who I don't think I'll be able to kill. Oh, I think I just went to a place that was optional. Sweet. Meaning, I honestly have no idea where this is going to go. And I'm only on chapter, I think, two. I have no idea how many chapters in this game. Could look at the achievements and they'll probably tell me how many chapters there are. But, eh, better to find out with experience. Okay, where am I going? Uh, 
haven't even found the 667, whatever that goes to. I feel like I'm going in circles right now. Now it sounds like someone's humming or strumming on the guitar. Like I said, the soundtrack does what it wants to when it wants to. Right now, it wants to be kind of spooky. Oh, go on the door, you idiot. Oh, a quarantine they set up, and I can't hack. Oh, I don't want to go in there. You, you I'm I'm barefoot. Stay where you are. Don't move. What the? Look for the intercom. On your left. My name's Atherton. Doctor Atherton. I'm the chief surgeon here at Sacred Heart. My men and I have shot ourselves in the ICU. Quite possibly the last safe refuge in this hospital. Maybe the whole town. What? How can that be? What the fuck is going on here? Listen, Doc. I'm looking for someone. A real nasty son of a bitch who got here shortly before I did. Oh, la la. You must be alluding to my latest patient. Latest patient? That's right. A real nasty son of a bitch, indeed. He was the one who crudely dissected those security guards you've undoubtedly stumbled across. But alas, I managed to sedate him and now he's tucked away, as snug as a bug in a rug, under my complete control. Nobody will meddle in this hospital's affairs. Nobody but me. Um, Doc, open this goddamn door right now! That bastard's got an outstanding account with me, and I came to no, collect- no, no, no. Now you listen to me. I ain't gonna tell you again. Open the goddamn door! However, settling account seems to be your niche. So maybe we can reach some kind of understanding. What are you getting at? How should I explain it? Hmm. Yes. As a result of this precarious and unpredictable situation, some matters of the utmost importance remain pending. As you can glean from the carnage out there, I can no longer rely on security due to your friend's sudden appearance. So I need you to handle it instead. Man, you are one insane motherfucker. Insane or not, I have something you want. What you must do, sir, is go to the west wing of the hospital. Room 10, to be exact. Hmm. What should I do once I get there? Don't be so rash, Mr. Walker. Walker? Oh, how appropriate to the situation at hand. Getting there alive will be a big accomplishment in itself, Mr. Walker. Now you'd better skedaddle. I am not a particularly patient man, and my offer may be prone to expire. You can contact me using the intercom when you... Uh, better yet. If you make it there. By the way, that technological marble that beautifully decorates your delicate wrist, the one you clearly stole, will be very useful. Very Oh, you mean the Pip-Boy? Feel free to buzz me on channel 27. I'll give you more details then. Godspeed. All right. I'll do it. Fucking fruitcake. Oh man, oh fucking fruitcake. Also, let's not make deals with Hal. We start singing Daisy Daisy, just yeah, no. Hey. I'm gonna hack that door now. Yeah, the intercom looks like Hal, and yeah, I noticed the arms look like a pit boy. Time to do some hacking, it is hard. Woo! Alright, F and Q. F Q and Q. Alright, hacking's not that bad. 
Now, does it go away if you successfully hack? It doesn't. Interesting. In other words, be careful when you hack, and you can make it last. Oh, we have more shotgun shells. I mean, I would rather have pistol bullets, because I don't want to waste my shotgun shells. Oh, sweet. It's my other sh Oh, man. I love shout. Based on a true story. Definitely not based off any movie that people might scream at. Alright. Alright. I have a lot of shotgun shells. Still want pistol bullets. I appreciate the hacking wires and all that, though. Oh, yeah. This... I got choices. Choices. Where are you? The restroom. Choices. Oh, yeah. I am not shooting the collectibles. I know there are probably some somewhere, but... Like I said, I'm not going to aim for 100% completion in this playthrough. If I absolutely feel like it, I'll try and do that another time. Let's reload these puppies now before later. There we go. Oh, I got my dream, but I'd rather use some of this now. Okay. I think I'm getting actually a lot better at this game. It's actually not that bad either. I'm happy it's not that bad. It's just an indie-ish Resident Evil game. Very indie. Oh. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm finally getting syringes. Get me, give me. Oh, wait, it's finally time. Is this it? Is this 667? Oh, it's not. Actually, one second, I think. Now I have this. Okay. So it's not that. Okay, okay. That is going to require another code. Anything I able... What the... Looks like something for PlayStation. Hey, buddy. Wait, are you? Oh, no, you're a hack. Might as well. FQ. F. F. Q. I say it out loud. It kind of helps me. I usually play these more. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, I'm happy with that hack. Ammo. Glorious ammo. I'm gonna go back through this real quick. I wanna... I wanna stay in this area first. And now that we have a bunch of ammo for this, I think I'm gonna stick with the handgun for a bit. Like I said earlier, shotguns only if I need it. Use your best guns as spare... Nope, 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 nope. Shotgun. See your hand moving. That's right. I'm not stupid. Remember why I said use your shotgun sparingly? Yeah, I did a. Uh, yeah, he's bleeding. He's dead. What's my health at? 
53. Alright. Let me combine some things. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. That was... fun. Oh, 100% worth it. Just got that ammo back. It cost me three shotgun shells to kill him. Got six here. Three. Uh, profit three. Oh, the 11 handgun. Oh, yeah, I'm swimming it now. Which makes me worried because it only means bad things are going to happen. Oh, I got special slugs. Wait, cardboard ammo box. Oh my. Is there a map? There is a map. Oh, okay. That's actually great. I am worried at what is going to be over here. It's a big guy, immediately switch to shotgun. It's really hard to see you in the shadows. Can you die? Missed. Is he going to bleed? I don't see blood. There it is. Alright, alright. For now, let's just try and be careful of my inventory space. I can't go in that bathroom, and I have no idea what happened there. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Oh! Actually, the energy bar are probably really good to eat right now. Let me see. Yeah, I'm health set 53, and I don't want to use a syringe yet. Actually goes up quite a bit. I'm happy with that. All right, we'll have to move on now from here. I've gotten everything I could until I get that code. I can't go in there. Right, right, right. I need the codes back in here. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't have the code for that room. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I came from. Or was it? No, I came from that way. Okay, I just turned myself around. Okay, yeah. In we go. KSC. What is that? Mental drops. Um. Hello. I. I'm not gonna worry about you. Oh, I do worry about this hallway. Well, seems my wife wants to haunt me. 
I have a feeling the mental stuff was going to come into play. Oh, nice, I got an achievement. Butcher. I don't trust the long hallways. That's the only reason why I had my shotgun out. Alright. One shot. Two shot. Down shot. I missed the second shot, I believe, but I'm gonna act like I hit it. You're alive. You're not bleeding. Yeah, you're still... Is it counted as dead? Alright. That's what I want. Are you dead, dead? I mean, you don't have to be dead, dead. I only want this. Goodbye. Technically, I could just ran in and ran out. One second. My inventory, yeah, it's full. I'm gonna drink the energy drink. And then I'm gonna use this with... Oh. And then I wanna use you. All right. Try and make some... Oh, I don't trust gardens. Does this one have a walker in it too? No. It has a lot of playing cards. Someone has three aces, this person has a five and a jack. But other than that, nothing in here. Of importance. Alright, there's nothing over there. I see something over there. I see something over there. I just don't want to go in there at the moment. I'm afraid ha what happens if the plants start mutating. Alright, let's start looking down this hallway. <laughs> you first. <gasps> yeah, I saw it coming. One of you were getting up. And now I want you to get back down. No, get back down. Get back down! Ma'am, listen. Thank you. I have a lot of shotgun shells, which makes me worried. Oh, it's a tape. It's like that. Dr. Jennings. Can I use that? No. I can use it, but I don't want it yet. I knew it. I just freaking knew something like this would happen sooner or later. We've been playing God, but now we cannot escape the hermits of our astounding progress. The company, the government, Decades of malevolent work, and my God, I helped them. And now, it's time.
time to pay for our sins. Christ, what have we unleashed? Not gonna lie, that voice actor reminded me of Tommy Wiseau. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, wait. Oh, one shot, one kill. I'm gonna take down his ass until I walk away and then he attacks me. Okay, there's stuff out there. I want it. I don't want to go out there. I'm uneasy, but let's do it. Oh, I can't. Never mind. I need bolt cutters, if I guess. Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker, what a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. But the next step should be much easier. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything. Not to worry, Mr. Walker. You're in the right place. Although you can't see it, there's a special door in that room. Now approach the wall directly across from you with your DID. My DID. Approach it with my DID. Why do I understand what they mean? Oh, understand what they mean. I mean, I hear something. Clearly, I do. I am not deaf. Approach it with my DID. Um. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Interesting. So else has to happen? Hidden doors? Implants with damn chips? Mr. Walker, I want you to listen very carefully. There are many forces at play which, unlike myself, you just aren't privy to. All you must do is do exactly as you're told, no matter how unsettling nor utterly unpleasant it may seem. Now hurry up and bring me that chip. Over and out. Alright, not sure how important that chip is. Uh, status failed notes. VJ02 will likely be the last active subject of Phase 1. A dinosaur, shall we say. Convenienced in the early 40s, around the same time as the Defense Department and CIA welcomed Hexacore Biogenics into keen sight. Phase 1 was truly the first BC weapons test the government conducted on its own soldiers, and arguably the father of the MK, oh, MK Naomi program, the subject VJ, VJL2 called 
Roland Reds. Roland Reds was once a young army officer who accomplished several top secret missions and later got recruited for a World War II campaign. So, so daring and highly classified that its details are unclear to us even today. And yet, VJ02 is likely the only surviving test subject that has undergone such a plethora of experimentation that even we've lost track of what was done specifically by whom involving which doses. Who can blame it on the rush, the rushed and disorganized experiments performed by researchers who have come and gone over the years that resulted in the current state of this particularly stubborn yet pitiful creature? Given the unlikelihood of gleaming new inf data from its semi-vegetative coma, we deem further research of the, on this dinosaur to be fur, fu a futile endeavor. Orders, activate purification protocols for subject VJ VJO2. The subject, for some years, has been discharged from the hospital and resides at home on the outskirts to avoid potential conflicts with the remaining subjects currently being tested on the premises. You are to immediately notify the Hexacore operatives in the node quadrant so that you may prepare the subject for immediate disposal within 48 hours. There are no further details. That sucks. Also, are you going to come alive? No. Oh! Storage! And trade. Okay, I can collect tags. And I can save. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me a second. Magnum rounds are useless. Oh, wait. I'm gonna get rid of you and you. And I think I'm good. I actually end you. Wait. Uh. Oh, not that. Not that. There we go. And now. Oh, trading. I see now. ID tag. I don't understand why the hell we have to keep these goddamn rags on. I get the company wants me in the work plan. Okay, okay. What the hell is going on in this place? I have no idea. Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? I have no idea, but until then, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm feeling a little tired. But also, I think this went on long enough. This game is getting weirder by the second. I don't know. But, until then, I shall see you uh, next time. Goodbye.